welcome to dab for do hope you're all doing good i would urge you to be cautious and be safe in today's video i'll show you how to make mandala art and as well as upcycling the old uh, writing pad you can make it in colorful or black and white way so i had this writing pad which is worn out completely so i have uh, decided to paint it two or three coats and then we will do it firstly with a little water i am just scraping off the old paper and then started to paint it with white primer you can use gesso as well in the final coat i am dabbing it with the help of sponge so now for the back portion of the writing pad i am using the letter a and i want it to be plain and rest i will complete it with the mandala art i've just used the simple scale as a guide and taking the broadness of the scales worth only and for the top i have just given a little curve to make the letter more beautiful and at the center also so you can make it with any letter or you can use any shapes which you want to keep it empty here or you can do vice versa so i have permanent markers with me wherein i am using them to color this back portion so i have decided to paint it in rainbow and creating these mandala patterns so i've made a circular pattern with just small petals leaves circles so as i did not have much brighter orange i have used a uh, two orange colors and finally end with the red shade so i have taken the help of a compass and i have drawn all circles all over the pattern leaving the letter apart from that i have created the circle so as you can see the circle the one which i have drawn here is smaller and bigger so i'm just making the pattern little broader but i'm sticking it to the same color pattern if you, i've made a small circle in and oh and here i've increased the size that's it but i did not make any changes in the pattern all over the pad i have used the same pattern to complete the work so this is how i have made a little circles it is in half way through so i've decided to pick one color and complete that pattern whole so easy and relaxing and fun filled work so i hope you are enjoying the video till now if you did please hit the like thumbs up and i'm not leaving any space empty if you observe even the small corners have filled up and i've completely filled the pad except for the letter a so this is the back portion you can use it in any card also not upcycling the next one is a black and white so i've used this lion and i will just trace it with the help of carbon paper you can use any pattern of your choice if you can draw it free hand you can make it so also with the help of sticky tape i just drawing the pattern and tracing it on the front portion of the writing pad so once it is ready it has given light impression i hope you are not able to see it on the uh, camera so i have just made it little darker now because i have already used the markers this side i am using the acrylic color with the help of zero size brush round zero size brush and if you see here i am making the pattern broader at the center so that it gives a depth i'm not just going with double line but i am filling in the pattern here and the top also i'll just give the outline and i will leave those two triangles and the drop shape and Uh, likewise in the nose and eyes also i will just fill up the broader portions and leave the center portion here so i am outlining the complete uh, figure which we've drawn with the help of the brush you can always use markers or any other 
dark color sketch pen also i won't suggest because the color will be worn out but any oil based colors you can definitely use so this is how the outline is done now i'm starting to draw you can just doodle any shapes which you wish the outer portion i am just making it little thick and giving the central patterns of circles and um, as this picture is symmetric so one side as i feel i will just do the same on the opposite side so now at the bottom portion i'm just drawing random lines and vertical and horizontal lines then i am adding some curves for the bottom you can make any simple lines also whole of the outer portion also you can just create one simple pattern that will be also very beautiful so i've just made some waves at the very bottom and on the top i'm just creating some drop shapes and i will just fill it up so that it will give a very brighter look at the top and on the sides i'm just using little small checks so as i told symmetrically i'll i mean side by side i'll fill the other side also just completing the pattern as you can see just adding some dots for the detailing at the exterior of this line and at the face of the line also now i'm just giving a dot and curve pattern so if you wish if you can want to leave you can leave like this also or you can just give any random filling which is not very thick you can easily create it if you use a permanent marker you don't have to add varnish at the end so the empty portions which are there i'm just giving light shades with the dry brush strokes and at the center also i have just given some dry brush strokes and i have filled up with random designs in the complete head top portion i have made spirals dots anything you wish just doodle it and it will be very beautiful but see that the pattern is symmetrical on both the side this highlighting the portion this part i did not like so i painted it black and completed it with dot i hope you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching if you did please like share and subscribe namaste